How's it going, Saul here? Uh, this is part 9 of my Rome Total Realism Let's Play as the Iberian Tribes. Before I continue, um, i just explain, this is actually a restart of the episode. Now, I only went to, I only made the next turn, and what happened next um, was quite strange. And I thought, what on earth's going on here? So I went back and restarted and run it again did and went through the motions and the same thing happened so this time i'm going to get it i'm going to record it because um at present as you as you know this, as you can see this is the 3.1 beta it's an open beta but the rtr project team are working on the next version which is 4.0 and i'm doing some testing there i was invited in by uh, a couple of the guys here, and one of them uh, is a guy called Verosius, who's a head of PR. He also does other things as well, an all knowledgeable man. But he's quite a humor humorous guy, and then um, we've had a little bit of light banter in the lobby. And I know that he watches my Let's Play, and this is for your opinion. Uh, I'm doing this primarily for you, Verosius. So for anyone else who's watching, um, I hope it doesn't bore you, but <laughs> I, th I just found it, I found it quite funny actually, and it, but at the same time I thought, oh, why does this have to happen? But it, it, it might be a bug, it might be something to do with the base game, I don't know. So uh, this is why I want to open it up for for viewing. So I need to lift the toggle, uh, the fog of war, run it, which it will do. Now, forgive me my type and I'm not very quick. There we go. Now then, as you can see, um, the Romans army here has transgressed into our territory. Okay. Now, um, these, little, these are little things that, that sometimes bug me uh, um, about the game, is that why have they came all the way into my territory? When we look in diplomacy for a start, let's just get it started, sorry. Let's do that, right? We look in diplomacy. They're, they're at war with their enemies with the Celtic tribe. And Gagovia's here, and it's a large town with half a stack in it. Yet they're going to attack me, and they do attack me. And I'm on a small town, and I'm not their enemy. And they've bypassed all the goals, and we all know the history of, that they had with them. And then there's little things, and I'll just take notice of what I'm showing you. Right, this little army here is besieging Massilia, uh, half a stack here in Vienna. All right, it's this um, one unit here, which has got Quintus Fabius, a family member with his bodyguard, and a valley in the middle of the Alps in his own. Would you believe it? But let's say these things happen. They're, 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 you see them quite a lot in, in vanilla and in, and in a lot of the mods. I'm sure it does come from the base game. Now, if we come across to uh, Italy here, you can see also that the Celtic capital is there right on their border. A huge threat with a full stack in it, you know what I mean? And they bypassed it all. But there, there, those are not the things that I'm, I'm on about. Um, I'll show you now. I'll make the turn and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, you, the reason why I, I've opened the Folk of War is so you can see everything. Nothing, ever, nothing's invisible, well, everything's see. visible. And um, what I want to know is, where the fuck did this army come from? This one here. Because there was nothing, nothing to be seen. Nothing up here. And Genua, which had a couple of um, units in it, now get over half a stack. Um, they've moved, it's not, they've, they've, again they're ignoring that. This small arm was attacking my son here, it's now a full stack. And half stack it was in Vienna is now a full stack. None of these other ones have been affected, just these two. But where did the stack come from? It just magicked out of thin air. So I don't know where, maybe it's just a, it's a bug in the game. The thing is, um, the RTR team are, are working on, let's say, the 4.0. So I don't know if this will affect it for us, but the same thing happened in there. Of, of, in this sort of scenario, I don't know. That's it. It's nothing fantastic, but it was just how the hell does it happen? You know, it's amazing. Okay, we'll get on with the rest of the episode then. 
So, let me just have a quick look through this lot. Nothing much to report there. Faction announcements. Everything else in the just up procedement there. Okay. The other thing is, there's never any generals uh, leading these. Well, there might be one there. We'll find out in a minute. Um, Let's take uh, Ipanis's army away from there, the siege is broken. and I'll get where uh, I'll get that um, spy out to look. No, no general leading them. So we get two leaderless armies in foreign soil, and that happens a lot. You know. But again, I, I think it all comes from the base game. I don't know if they can ever be changed in a mod, but um, it's just weird how. It, it don't seem feasible to me, so yeah, that's the reason why I'm sort of pointing it out. But um, anyway, we'll get on. Now then, we're going to have to use both these armies to take on uh, the Romans because they're always overpowered, aren't they, when it's, you're not the Romans. So we'll bring yes. Ipanis up to here Forward. and we'll bring... Forward. Um, Exterus, the easier faction here, will bring him up to there. <coughs> now then, let me see what we got. Uh, okay, if we bring you guys out, because I'm, well, I'm we're going to have both armies fighting them, and one of them will be led by the AI. We don't want any generals in there. We all know what happens to them. So we'll bring you over here. Forward. And yes. you can attack them. We'll withdraw and. General. We'll take, need to, how many do we need? We'll get six coming Lord. in them, we need to take five out. Lord. We'll take you and, General. oops, you, you, General. yeah that's right, can't believe you see this properly. Orders, orders, yes, yes. Into there. The and, orders. Move. here Move we go. Armies. And, We'll attack them. There we go. And then the other ones can join in. And we don't have to worry about losing a general. There we go. I, I, I actually fought the Romans using the Iberians in their little sort of um, mock battle, a little. just to see how strong they were. Um, in a custom battle and um, quite powerful to and I didn't upgrade them I upgraded the Iberians but not the um, Romans and they smashed me <laughs> so Await my see how this goes now the uh, reinforcements are going to come from over here so we'll shift our battle lines over here here like this one fire will have a little bit more to the left of it there we go on there and then we'll have these guys so coming up this side Keeping a little bit back to see exactly what's happening. At night, it's almost certain they're going to be up the top of this hill, isn't it? Um, maybe if we move them back further. Okay. 
Move them all over a bit. Same with these guys here. Okay, don't we? Right, off we go. The feeble enemy have more men. Ha! These are more heads for our warriors to collect and try them. Yeah, they are. And if we move in about here, we should. They're all coming up from the right there. I don't want my cavalry to get too directly involved at the minute. Now we want to try and get 85% of these so they don't come back. And then I can go on with taking the rest of uh, Western Europe. Unless he magic some more armies like he just did there. <laughs> Keep an eye on our uh, reinforcements here in it. Here they come. Anyway, they're all spread out. Well, we know that the... Right, where's that captain? Who's the leader? Where is he? You know he's going to make a headlong dash for some spears. There he is. There he's there. Okay. I'll need to speed it up a bit or else it's going to take all day, all night. Uh oh, there goes the lag. The only thing is, the hot key doesn't switch it off when you get try to get it to work. It don't. There we go. I'll put it on double speed that way, it wouldn't lag then. Where is he? He's still hanging about at the back there. Where are you lot going? Alright, we'll try it again. Seems to bring him up level with us at least. There we go. We can just keep them all together there without having them scatter. That'll be fine. I want to wipe, wipe them out. I want to take them all out or most of them out. I think Jerry may take me out. <laughs> these cavalry effect it might not be so easy on this hill but we'll try look at this why did they do all this running about you think they were getting in some sort of a formation of it. AI does this quite regularly this is regular thing this is run about like this and they get tired this is this is such a stupid villain. I think he just gets confused because there's two armies to control and there's two armies coming at him. 
Yeah, they're charging down there. I wonder if they'll run away. Iberian tries firing missiles. And they don't run away. That's our captain. Better get my cav up a bit faster, a bit quicker. Now surely they... And he's caught the as you see. Why aren't they attacking him then? Come on. Get in there and get him. You know, I wish they kept a couple of cavalry over here. We could have went and got him. Let's get you into place, boys. Hurry up. Enemy army is running like a startled goat. Is he? Hunt oh, him. Man, Goats done make yet. good eating. There he is up there. Yeah. All right. And then we need to get our car up here a bit quicker. Get these guys up here. Keep going. Oh, keep stay fresh. I don't want them to be worn out. We want them to attack here. Keep going up. Keep going up. You take them. Cavalry. Up we go. Up to the top. Keep going right up to the top. Go on. This will be one massive hammer and anvil. This will. Are they breaking? You take ammo. Warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. Come on, guys. Keep going. Of your allies lies dead, <laughs> slain by the enemy. Oh, what odds will you go for that? I wonder. Get over here, don't let them get away. Is running like a startled goat. Hunt! Uh, there he goes. The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay them all. Get 
down here and you can't move. Why don't you get them before they get away? That's the thing, you see. we can. Attack! Can't tell the difference between theirs and mine, eh? All these stragglers, they hold everything up because you can't finish them off. Okay, you keep down there. Okay, get him, give yourself something to do. Right, what have we got left? Stragglers left, we can pick up. General. General. Kill them. Right, what have I killed? Eighty four per cent. Oh, we need to kill eighty five. Must have got 85, come on. Don't be kidding. Eighty five, yeah. That's this it. is a great victory. The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. Yeah, that'll do. We lost. 670 men. Craker, that's quite a lot. When did I lose them? Well, I didn't do too badly. I lost about 150, which was to be expected, of course. And even then, Oops, excuse me, get over 100 back, about 120, 130 maybe. Not so good here though. Hmm. Still, we got rid of the two armies of the Romans and hopefully they don't magic up another couple of armies just out of the middle of nowhere again, eh? It's a great trick, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Ah, uh, there was still enough of them left though, look. Bugger. I don't know. Damn. 
Um, they weren't there earlier, weren't they? So it, it's difficult trying to judge. When it's two armies, I, I, I don't know. 85% is generally for one army. I don't know how it works when you've got two armies if that 85% is 85% of both the armies. Um, I'm not sure on that one, to be honest. So, uh, yes. right then, General. well, we better sort these boys out and separate them a wee bit. Let's have a look at Ipanis. He's 49. He won't be hanging around but so much longer when we get you back. And pass your um, retinues on to one of your family. Let's see who have we got. This guy here, Epicurus, he looks a tasty piece of work. Gloomy, heartless, and different. Alright, so with and flaccid. Well, we threw all the shit onto him. Anybody get any shit ribbon rev oh there you are, perfect. You can have that, mate. You'll be a, he's on the, he's not gonna lead any uh, well I don't know. He, he won't lead any um oh what happened there? There you go. Uh he won't be in uh, leading any armies or he won't be um more importantly, a governor anywhere. He was just pick a heavy cavalry unit, really. Okay. Certainly plenty of sons coming in the family anyway. He's 39. I panis. Well, this is his own, his own son here. But our menace. Well, how did that work out? He's only 21. He's 26. He's 23. Hmm. We must have uh, adopted him then. I think we must have adopted him as well. Looks like. So he should really be the next heir. Doubtful loyalties. Well, he won't be the next heir. He's a chancer. <laughs> oh, one command when attacking. What's well, a good thing, is it? Oh, chancer's not that. Hmm. Feeling poorly. Yeah, we'll leave you in a to look after a settlement. He's in Cordoba anyway. Beastmaster, he's got some good stuff here, hasn't he? Hmm. He'll actually make a good uh, governor. The rest of them. That's fell. That's another brother, isn't it? Entesis. He's got a slub gullion. Was it slubber de gullion? <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. Right then. Scarred. There's the one with plus four hit points if they're scarred. And this one's scarred as well, so the two steps uh, the two yeah stepsons are um useful. Right. Alright then okay we'll leave it we'll leave it like that for now but um He's got two more sons to come. Yeah, we won't do anything about it just yet. We'll wait till he gets a little bit older. Now, these yes. armies will need to be Orders. sorted out. Lord. We'll keep. Orders. Yeah, we'll 
keep them separated. Right, here, here, Orders. and Lord. here. Move out. Stand to the Orders. side there, and let's get you. Yes. Yes. Leave in the army. Heavy cav. What have we got in here? Yes. What have we got here? Chief, leave in the arm. Orders, General. Leave in the arm. Orders. Well, one, one of the arm is to be a sort leave of backup, really. No. Yes. Lord. Experience here, yeah, right? Chief, yes. Orders. Splitting the troops. Orders. Chief. Orders. Chief. Chief. Leaving the army. Yes. Yes. This is going to be a main troops. army. Right. Now yes. then, again, these are all the same anyway. General. General. Yes. Leave in the arm. Orders. General. Yes. Chief. Orders. 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 Uh. General. Yes, General. Leave right. So you'll get, be going back over here to attack Destroy. that settlement, and Orders. you guys will make up a support and army. Now then. Yeah, now. General. Chief. Yes. Leave now. General. Oh, I missed one. 89. Alright, it's now a fuel unit. General! General! Orders! Leave you in here. Orders! General! Let's leave him with. Sorted. And there, they all come in useful for something. Oh, we can get more there. Look, yeah. Oh orders, orders. We need to go down and take care of them pretty soon as well. But we'll leave that for the next episode. Oh yeah, that was about done then. Slubber, de gully, and can't hold a drink. Real one on, <laughs> bit like me, <laughs> right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, 
Um, apologies if uh, for, the, for the start of the episode, but uh, I, I just had to show it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the rest and you'll come back and pick up in the next episode. Cheers. Bye.